Want to know how to connect different cells into one long text string? Stay tuned on an all new episode of Excel TV. Hi everyone and welcome back to Excel TV. We took a small Easter break, but we are back in full. So get ready. There's going to be more videos, more content. Just stay tuned. And if you want to see it all, if you want to see it all, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, uh, uh, <laughs> below uh, the video. So just make sure that you hit that and you won't miss anything. Okay, so what are we here to talk about today? Well, many of us know, right, that stringing text together in Excel can be a pain. Up until recently, that's when TextJoin came out. So let's go and take a look and investigate TextJoin and become TextJoin experts. Let's hit it. Hi everyone, we're back in Excel again. Now if you're wondering, this, exam this example file will be able uh, to be downloaded at the end of this video, so stay until the end. You can check it out in the dis video description section. We will have a link to this video. So let's take a look. Now if you've ever joined text before in Excel, you know what a pain it can be. Here was the old method, right? The old method was concatenate. So you could use concat or you can use concatenate. And one thing I want to show you here is you can see that there's this little um, this little warning sign here next to concatenate. And the reason that's there is because Microsoft has officially deprecated it. But here was the old way of doing it. And many of us remember this, right? You'd select this. Oh my gosh, I gotta hit comma. Gotta do it again. Comma, do it again. Comma, do it again. Comma, do it again. And so forth. Man, what a pain this is, right? So this was the old way of doing it. You had to select everything. I'll hit enter here. You can see the result. It's gonna pop up the formula right next to it old way, right? So then there was kind of this easier way that came along, but it really didn't help a whole lot. That was to use the ampersand character, and that's the concatenation operator if you want to get technical. So you can use this ampersand. You can see it does exactly, uh, basically, it will do the same thing, but you have to hook it up the same way. Now look, one thing you get out of this is that it's a little easier to do. You don't have to type in concat, and it makes a little more sense in our brains, right? But that is definitely not the best way to do this. So let's talk about the best way to do this, and that's using TextJoin. Now TextJoin is new, right? It's one of these new uh, functions that has come out in the last few years. It's one that a lot of us don't really know a whole lot about because we don't really know. We are always not, we're not always up on everything that Microsoft released. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna type in TextJoin like this. Now look what we have here. We have a delimiter, we have ignore text, and then we have a series of text. So if I wanted to recreate the thing I've just created, with these concatenates and these ampersands, what I can do is I can supply a delimiter. Now, a delimiter is anything that's going to separate these words out. In this case, there are no spaces, so I have no delimiter. So I'm going to put two quotes in there, as I've done there. Now, this is also really cool. Microsoft gives us the ability to ignore empty cells. So let's say I wanted to do this on an entire range and there was an empty cell and we didn't want to have anything in there. Well, what I can do is I can put in true here. We don't have any empties, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep it true. I'll hit tab here to, to put that in there. Um, just for sake of example. Now here's the best part. We don't have to click on everything by itself now. Here's all we have to do. I'm gonna select A2, I'm gonna highlight to A9, I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. Now look, it gave us the exact same thing in a fraction of the work. Now this was only eight examples, but imagine doing this over a hundred examples. Wow, that would have been a lot, right? So here's what we can do. In addition to everything else, we have this delimiter. Um, I can add a comma here if I want. Now you can see, I'm gonna just make this a little bit bigger. It added the comma, and look at this. It didn't even add a comma at the end of that. So that's something, if you wanted to do this in VBA, you would know you could grab a word, you could add a comma, and you'd have to keep doing it until the end, right? And then you'd have to remove that comma if you were doing it iteratively. Now you can actually really add anything in here. If I wanted multiple spaces, I could do that. And remember, we also have ignore, ignore uh, blanks here. So if I go ahead and hit blank, you see it, it actually ignored it. It didn't add an extra space to an item that wasn't there. So that's pretty cool. Now I just wanted to show you this was a super quick one. I wanted to show you how to use text join because I use it all the time and I think you should use it too. Well, thanks everyone for watching this episode of Excel TV. What do you think of this trick? Will you use it? Leave us what you thought down in the comments and make sure to check us out at Excel TV. Make sure to check out our Facebook page and our Twitter page. We have a lot of activity going on. Sign up to our email list to find out about new webinars, free content, everything else. And until then, until next time, keep on excelling. Thanks, everyone.